Oh, right everyone, she got Hawken here reporting for duty. So, I uh, actually already record this tree, but turns out, since I'm using two different, you know, software, both of them are OBS, but the other one is, well, OBS Streamlabs, where I usually show my face. Uh, so, apparently, yeah, as usual, Windows updates also screw this one up and I completely forgot about that because I thought I already did. Well, technically, I already did fix it, but I only fixed the one on Streamlabs. But not on the OBS Studio, so... God damn it! <laughs> and yes, I intentionally say it like that. God damn it! Instead of God damn it. It's, it's two different stuff. Uh, so, now I have to pretend that I didn't know a thing. I mean, I wish those MIB flash, like, well, the 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 pen flash bang thing. I wish I have that to just forget about 34, 35, 36, so I, I can start fresh again. But, well... Here we are. <laughs> so now, let's jump onto the episode. Episode 54, Playtime for U81. So yes, the only U-boat that's appear in this game. And as you can see, if I keep moving this, she won't talk because she think that I'm trying to be busy. Which, not wrong, but also wrong. <laughs> but if I... Uh, AFK for too long, or just standing idle for too long, she'll start talking like, look, look. Come on, be smart, talk. Don't be shy. Come on. Three, two, one. No? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, let's start episode 24. The so, U-Boat. Uh, I, well, she's, she's just a small kid, but uh, that's about it, really. There is nothing really appealing to, about her, to be honest. I mean, I mean, well, the only things that make her appeal to me is the fact that she is part of the Iron Blood, and that's about it. Seriously, I prefer uh, I prefer them big. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue with here. All right, uh, let's see. First round, joint military exercise, Iron Blood Dorm. So, this is a rare case because I did mention it in the previous take, but since it's all gone because everything is muted, I did say that it's pretty rare that we visit Iron Blood Dorm, you know. Like, in the entire game, you only ever visit a Sakwa Empire Dorm and Royal Navy. I don't think if we even visit the Eagle Union, I believe. But on the side story, most of the time, it's either uh, Sakura Empire, uh, Royal Navy, and Eagle Union, but never really got to Iron Blood. Because it's a pretty rare case. I mean, then again, Bismarck really don't like being bothered, you know. It's, it's just like her. I mean, well. I mean, she prefer to do her stuff alone as most of the time. So yeah, I kind of kind of relate to her, to be honest. So right, let's see what's this all about. This episode is about the Azure Rain 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 Oh, she's talking to Eigen. <laughs> Outright refused. I mean, then again, we we're talking about Eigen, which is, well, she is really mature. I mean, you don't even need to talk to her, you just can look at her and you probably already know, ah yeah, she she's that kind of girl, you, you may 
don't want to do anything funny to her. That's about it. So, I mean, she likes to tease people, but in a in a sadistic way from time to time. <laughs> so, yeah, one of my favorite ship in the game, by the way. <laughs> I mean, come on, the intention is already there, and she can read it as clear as. A ship in the middle of the sea, right in front of you. Like, come on. See what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, most people can get bored rather easily. I mean, especially girls like, like her, which I think she's quite a playful one. I don't, I don't really have her, so I don't know her personality that much. But, well, if you know a, a people that's really playful, they usually get bored really easily. Like, just leave them alone for a few minutes and they'll just get bored. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, here's the thing though, about this entire game, I mean the the scene here, why would we put any kind of boat on the land? They belong to the free water. <laughs> so, this is kind of self-aware situation, but not really because... She just doesn't like being stay put. Well, she's a kid, you know. Not really because 1940s ship, you know. But then again, acting like a kid, right? So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I I really don't like staying put either. But if I have to use a sniper, I will stay put most of the time until they kind of aware there is something wrong on my place so it is what it is this right here is something that I can relate really nicely I, just, I mean I, I mean in my place like sometimes hey you still family stuff like hey do something about this or do something about that or hey here's your drink which I do appreciate that from time to time and well usually if I trying to do something I, I just don't want to be bothered like especially if I try to build a gun plot and well, editing video is rather fine, but editing a ed uh, editing a gunpla, <laughs> building a gunpla or plastic model in general, I really don't want to be bothered. I mean, I like some white noise, but white noise, but you know, if people start to just calling me directly, I I I honestly didn't really like that when I'm trying to do something. I mean, it's fine. Because usually I'll just stop. Alright, what do you want? Even though sometimes it's really frustrating when you're in the middle of something, right? So yeah, it's much easier when no one's around to be honest. <laughs> and as usual, Eigen is being a tease as usual. I, mean, I like her personality to be honest. And they're off. She even makes sure to the length that she finds someone that she can play with so she doesn't bother her. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
Personally, I might also do that if I'm trying to do something else. But well, I can. I mean, with kids actually, I I'm, I'm kind of fine with them as long as they don't bother me directly. But if they start to bother me, it's it's just annoyance all over the place. I'm sorry if you're still kids, but it is what it is. <laughs> Basically, she's just telling her to, you know, just don't bother me. I just want to enjoy myself. You find someone else to do, to play with you. Go. <laughs> That's basically what she's trying to say here. Um, just walk? Or swim? Since you have a submarine? <laughs> And then, conveniently, we have Ajax just passing by. These two are sadistic, to be honest. I mean, Aigan, she is more of a tease. That's it, that's fine. Ajax here, on the other hand. My god, she is an actual sadist. Don't really like her, to be honest. I like to broke her face, to be honest. Yeah. I saw a dojin about her being broken. Sorry about that. Um Yeah, but really I don't really like Ajax personality at all. I mean But thing is though about Ajax I got carried by her when I, early in the game on mobile game at least. Yeah, I got carried by her really hard, like she's a good ship. I can't deny that. But her personality is really irritating. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, she, I mean, well, that's her, so right. I mean, if, if I don't have anyone and I have to work with her, yeah, I can put up with her, but not for long, I guess. Okay, so she's free right now. And they start going to chat to each other. Well, they have some familiarity with each other, so, you know, similarity, I mean. So, yeah, I, I guess they can go just fall. Yeah, that, yeah it's really convenient timing that's what's going on here. もしよかったらこのことを話してくれる相手を紹介してくれないかしら。ああ。She that's about it. Yes, cute little girl. That's about it. Nothing more. And there you go. The RX Zero Unicorn. Oh wow, that's not the right thing. It's it's SMS Unicorn, not not RX Zero. Sorry. And there she is. She's pretty cute, but. Not really appealing to, to my taste at all. I mean, just a little girl, alright? Yeah, yeah, I mean, even UAT1 just call her cute. But yeah, I prefer a matured girls, you know? They're really nice. Uh, this is really awkward to be honest to start with like you forcefully just talk to someone else I can't understand how this feels to be honest I mean in real life I I just wait for people to start talking with me usually unless I know 
the person already and I'm close to them usually I'm the one who started but most of the time uh, I prefer if someone just come to me and start the conversation just you know to make sure I'm not talking to someone that can cause a lot of trouble or a problem to me so yeah it is what it is and this is really awkward and I, ca I can understand that <laughs> thing is though Aigen is really amused about that Uh, we have Bismarck once again. They just want to fit Bismarck somewhere in the cutscene as much as possible. Yeah, leaving your room once in a while is not bad at all, you know. Yeah, I prefer stuck in my room too, you know. Sorry, but, well, I don't have to be apologizing about that. It's my, my room is my domain, my territory. No one can bother me in my room. Yeah, I don't really like being bothered when I'm in my room, to be honest. <laughs> it is what it is. So, yeah, that's... That's from UAT1, so you can unlock that by getting UAT1 in the lineup for your ship. By getting the A point. Well, she she's unlocked at the very last. Almost the very last, because there, uh, she is unlocked together with Prince Eigen and uh, Z23, but not with Bismarck. Bismarck is the very last one that you can get. So, uh, up next we have Royal Gourmet. And, my god, this is actually amusing when I first watch it. I hope I can capture it really well, but here we go. Episode 35, Royal Gourmet. Bonus episode, Joint Military Exercise, Party Venue. Again, Party Venue is the one venue in this entire side episode that is really used. Like seriously, almost every time you start the side episodes, it's just Party Venue. So here we go, Who's, who is here to... well... Who we needed to re to unlock this uh, particular episode? Let's see. This episode has to do with the Azure Lane and the Okay. She is a dense one. Prince of Wales, the master of dance city. It's just ridiculous. She is really... She, I mean, seriously, she is really dense. I mean, you'll see what I mean. It's not even party venue, by the way. This is Royal Navy dorm. The background is Royal Navy dorm. If you if you're talking about uh, party venue, it should be uh, like the previous episodes where it's kind of like a ballroom with stage where you can stand. So even they aren't really consistent with the background. <laughs> So we have uh, Cleveland and Taka here getting invited by someone. Yeah. One of those mysterious pies where you throw in a fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that still got me. So I don't know. Uh, this is actually from somewhere in U the United Kingdom. I don't know which particular part of United Kingdom that's made this, but why you make a fish head sticking out of a pie? I have no idea, and I don't know how delicious it is too. So I'm sorry, but as an outsider, it's just. Oh, it's just I don't. What? 
yeah, I, I, I can't really say anything because I never tried it. I mean, even if I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the first time I, I'm seeing it like on the internet, like, is this, is this a prank? Is this a joke? Like, I'm sorry, but why? Well, I don't know if it's delicious, but well, most of UK's food aren't really using spice, to be honest. So I don't know. I mean, we use spice, but not that much. But you get the idea, like why why you mix a fish with the pie? I mean, you can mix a fish with pies, but not sticking out the head out like. Uh, come on, someone from UK. Anyone? Just can anyone explain and tell me uh, what what's this dish? You know? Okay, I'm um, too much ranting about this particular dish, and it seems like this is this is going to be the focus of this episode. Let's see. Exactly what I mean. I already told. The audience here. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, Prince of Wales is hot. Um, thing is though, she's really dense. Yeah, I mean Cleveland just starting to get worried about it. Takao is just scared at this point with what she is saying. So they were nani or in it. Mother, now my was star gaze by the you know. Star to gaze it. Hosio meets me tail. To it, I mean, I got a star gaze by perfect for watching the next sky. <laughs> like, uh... the naming itself is. Uh, I guess. Ah, uh, Stargazer, Yeah, I mean, it is. I guess. Gameみつみはこの料理で星を見つめているのはものじゃなく、お魚のことだけどね。ほら、上を向いているでしょ。It isn't the one eating the dish that stares at the stars, but the fish. <laughs> like, actually, it's get better every time I try to read this one. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to look for it, and it is actually the actual name. I thought it was a made up name Stargazy Pie. Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look as bad, but. Why fish hat sticking out the pie? Like, look, can you just, you know? I mean, that's then again, it's probably one of the signature dish of this particular area. But so, region of state is Cornwall. Okay. So, ah, Cornwall, probably somewhere in Great Britain. I don't know, but. <laughs> So it's an actual name. Alright. Yeah,確かにパイに魚の頭を上に向けてぶっ刺してあるのが本当強烈なんだよな。それが何匹もいるし。Yeah, I mean, the pie has fish head sticking out like that, and some. Of, I, I'm currently looking on Google right now, and some of them are really messy. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there is even a variant where they use crayfish, even. 
that's sticking outside like that. Um, maybe they're delicious. I never tried that because I never seen one before, aside from the internet. But oh boy, what a dish! I mean, can someone tell? Someone please tell me it's delicious. Hopefully, because. The looks of it is just... Uh, it's alright, I guess, but... It's so weird as a foreigner, you know? I mean, Tako is really scared. <laughs> I was under the impression that the fish heads were being used ironically. Almost like it was such a grotesque display that it's intentionally odd. <laughs> like, I know, right? Like, it's a display of... Sadism, I guess. <laughs> uh, this word for word... I don't think I screenshot this before, but... This... This is a... Something that, like... Probably a perfect description of that for people that... Thinks it's weird. And it is weird! I mean, then again, tradition of food usually weird from place to place, and usually by different perspective, you know. So, yeah, I'm sorry about this, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> <sighs> I yeah, it is weird. It is the highlight, alright. That's for sure. Like, everyone will just immediately focus on the fish head of the entire food. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> I can almost hear Atako calling it Kimo. Uh, yeah, Kimo I mean gross in the back of my. <laughs> to the point that she can't imagine it is just really something. Okay, we have the origin. This is a quick origin, I guess. I'll, I'll read the actual Wikipedia article later. Did you notice that they immediately play the soundtrack for the boss battle in normal notes? <laughs> like, this is an actual boss battle, I guess. I mean, I mean, there is a lot of food out there that's actually symbolic like this. This is just too symbolic. <laughs> I mean, you can still put the fish in the pie, but not like that. <laughs> At least, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, you know, if you want to just mix the fish properly. And besides, eating fish head is really difficult, you know. Like, seriously, I, I, the one part that I don't really like about fish is actually the head. I mean, they they are really tasty, but for me, it's just more trouble trying to get the 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 fish meat around uh, out of it, you know, because well, there is a fish skull on it, you know. But it is what it is. Personal preference applied, all right. Symbol of his bravery, alright. But yeah, I guess as an outsider, we still don't really understand about why it's it's supposed to be like that. I mean, you can just you know grill the fish or you know bake. No, not bake. Grill, burn. Or even fry the fish. That's make more sense, but here we are. 
a, a fish taking out of a pie. Uh, sometimes I'm questionable. I'm questioning why British people kind of like that. But, oh well. I, I can't really judge them, you know. I'm, I don't live there. Hell, even not all people actually understand what this, what the dish is all about. I mean, if I, if I can find it somewhere locally, maybe I'll try, but where to find it? I don't think it's, it can be found outside of UK, you know? Outside of, well, well probably outside of Carwell still there, but how do I say this? Uh, fi finding one outside of UK probably really hard because it's a traditional food, right? For UK, technically. So, ah, huh. I would love to try one and see if it's actually delicious. At the very least, I will say that. If I ever go somewhere that has the dish, I want to try it. And well, don't even try to send it me, send it to me in the future because sending food is not exactly the the best thing to do. You know, I mean, uh, how do I say it? It's it's just not safe if you if it's a. Uh, Homemade or fresh made. I, I want it fresh from the bakery at least. <laughs> and there you go. She's her denseness just showing. Like, people are really either scared, panicking. But she just said, Oh, are you excited about this? Like, Dude, I, I, uh, uh, Prince of Wales, I know you're hot, but you're too dense for this, you know. <laughs> that is very detailed. Wow, and I forgot to turn off my notification. <laughs> まずは食べてみなさい。なんか魚の端末まが聞こえてくる気がするんだけど。はい、ノーバイ。現状よ。どう?お味の方は。That's <laughs> 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 Okay, at least she says it's delightful. Which is, well, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but oh well. Sotomuyuva, <laughs> Cliff, just, <laughs> Cliff just doesn't want to hear any more of it. It's just a nightmare for her. Like seriously, Cliff here is just trying to be nice. Just, I mean, talk only just being direct about it, but Cliff just she just trying to be nice and uh, and she can't really endure it anymore at that point <laughs> so yeah just <yes>, stop <laughs> oh i feel bad for her to be honest and uh, well episode 36 a fine day to fish let's just go we already taking too much time here i talk too much today aren't i well that's because i'm already so excited that i already fixed a lot of stuff today so Bonus episode, Joint Military Exercise, Calls Fanyu.
Okay, this time we're on the coast, so it's a little different, but we'll see. We'll see. This episode is so today, on the end, we are going to have Suffolk to be with us. So yeah, Suffolk is one of the two ships that's actually you first touch in the game. Because by touch, I mean you play. Because at the beginning of your intro cutscenes, intro battle, you you're playing as you're you're controlling Suffolk and Norfolk at the same time. They're sister ship. So yeah, that's where you first met her if you play the original mobile game. Yeah, mobile game first and then the console. It's really interesting uh, development to be honest. Usually it's the other way around. Okay, we have Suffolk here. On a peaceful day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fishing. Fishing is actually pretty fun, you know? I, I tried it before. Not on the high seas, like most people that rent the boat, but just on the river and on a pool. It's it, it's pretty relaxing, actually. I mean, it can get boring when nothing's happened for a long time, but there is some excitement about waiting for that patch, that one lure get bitten by the fish and you start pulling them out of the water it's it's really fun yeah that, that is really fun Splash! <laughs> Sorry about that. They don't even bother to add splashing sound effect. Like, they usually do that when there is a ship trying to rush down to the enemies or trying to run away in the fast speed. But apparently fish doesn't count as that splash. Come on now. I mean, they can do better. They have this sound already in the game. They can just reuse that, you know. Oh well, just some nitpick, but now I have to say it. SPLASH! Some people are just really talented about it, especially if they done it for a long time, you know? They improve and they just know how to do it. There, there's a lot of technique that you should know about fishing. I'm, I don't know much, but it's fun. That's what I really dare for. <laughs> she looks like an airhead, alright. That's already tanned. Wow. I wonder if that's true. Yeah, throwing a lure in the right place is really important so the fish notice it immediately and they'll get baited. Get you baited, baby. Sorry. Uh but yeah. It's it's one thing that it's probably one of the basic things that you have to learn actually. I don't know. There is an anime about fishing. So I need to try to watch that in the future, but 
Right now, let's just focus on the side story here. Well, everyone has to ha start somewhere. Sombra is delicious, all right. せっかくのオフ。今度こそ釣れるといいんだけどな。えっと、じゃあ試しに私の指差してるとこあたり狙ってみてください。ルアーの位置。えっと、うまくいった気がしますよ。本当？お、すごいのが来てる。え？うわ